You might must cure. Now you are following as straight as a ruler. Straight as a ruler. Straight as a ruler done by a ruler. And another beside that and another beside that until you had as pretty a plow field as you'd find this side of silence. Put us out of our kingdom tomorrow. We would not. I have a farm. Our kingdom tomorrow would not want for employment. Give me management of 50 acres, plowing and sowing and harvesting. I could do it and make me a handsome profit into the bargain. I said, I have a farm, Your Majesty. <clears throat> this gentleman, sir, has made the illness under which Your Majesty labors his special studies. A mad doctor, is it? I'm not mad, just nervous. I shall endeavor to alleviate some of the inconveniences from which Your Majesty suffers. Inconveniences? Insults! Assaults! Insults besides rubbed into these wounds. Look! By your dress, sir, and general demeanor, I'd say you were a minister of God. Oh, that's true, Your Majesty. I was once in the service of the church. Now I practice medicine. Well, I'm sorry for it. You've quitted a profession I've always loved and embraced one I most heartily detest. Our saviour went about healing the sick. Yes, but he had not 700 pounds a year for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not bad for a madman. I have a hospital in Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire? Yes, I know Lincolnshire. Fine sheep there. Admirable sheep. Pigs, too. But I know of no hospitals. My patients work, sir. They till the soil. <laughs> Cultivate. And in so doing, they acquire a better conceit of themselves. When I'm king of England, a man can have no better conceit of himself than that. <laughs> Do you look at me, sir? I do, sir. I have you in my eye. No, I have you in mine. You're bold, sir. <laughs> but by God, I'm bolder. So <laughs> not look at me. I'm not one of your farmers. You must behave or endeavor to do so. Must! Must! Whose must is this? Your must or my must? Get away from me, you scabby bum sucker. <laughs> lick at your lick fingers! Clean your tongue, sir. Clean your tongue. I will not. I'll be a guest in the graveyard first. Very well. If your majesty will not behave, you must be restrained. felons were induced to talk. They were shown first the instruments of their torture. The king is shown the instrument of his to induce him not to talk. throws off his bedclothes, tears away his bandages, scratches as he sores, and if he does not strive every day and always towards his own recovery, then he must be restrained. I am the king of England! No, sir! You are the patient! 